Okay, Drunk Receive here. I have a student here. He's going to do an alley dock. He only has done it about three or four times. And let's go over to alley dock before we get in the truck. Alley dock. A lot of times you go to a company, you have trailers on the, on the right and the left of you. This trailer will be 90 degrees. It'll be a 90 degree angle to your dock. You're set up. You're set up. You're going to turn the wheel to the right to get the trailer to go a little bit to the left. All you need to do is back up a little bit so you can see the landing leg clearly in your mirror. All you want is a short setup. You do any, if you make it too steep, you'll be early. And you do not want to be early. If you're a little bit late, that's not too bad. Truck drivers use a reference point. Okay, we have a Freightliner sitting here. His reference point will be like one yard off the cone. It's not the bumper of a truck that you're going into. You're going into this dock and it's one yard. That's your reference. If the rear of the trailer, you imagine yourself sitting on the on the end of this trailer. You imagine yourself sitting on the end. If you are way over to the left, you are late. You are late. You don't want to be late. But if you're late, it's better than being early. If you're late, you can do a little pull up and make an adjustment and get it in. This uh, dock is called Fish Surfish One. Okay, I don't know who that guy is, but he just wants some more information on alley docking. And that's his loading dock. He must be a big shot at the company that we're trying to back into the offload load. Okay, so once he does his setup, comes in with a short right and a small setup. He's going to get his drive tire straight. Make sure you, you don't have it all the way back to the right, otherwise it's going to come back in. You don't want that. So small setup, he's going to back up a little bit. He's going to back up a little bit and stop. Maybe half the left of the truck, the trailer, and the vehicle. He's going to determine, is he on time, or is he late, or is he early? If he's on time, he can continue backing up a little bit more. He's still on time and maybe getting a little bit late. He's starting to get a little bit late. And he can come in with a right to bring his tr tractor in a little bit. And then come back and counter steer back. It's up to you to visualize the complete turn of the tractor and the trailer. If it starts going off late, Turn the wheel to the right was to speed it up and bring it back and then counter steer back to stop it. And you back up a little more. And you once again, he's a little early, so he's going to turn the wheel back to the left, which would slow it down and move it over a little bit. Small adjustment. Be patient out there. And then start backing it in. Small little turns. Follow up and bring it right along the line. If you need a pull up, do your pull up and then back it in straight, centered in the dock. And as simple as that, do your pull up. Most states, when you, if you're doing an alley dock on the test, you allow one get out and look, or two get out and looks, and use that. Get out and looks important, come back. So I'm gonna show you right down here, here's the dock he's gonna back up to. Right up here, I'm gonna, if you look at the cone, right up here is this reference where I'm gonna put my, my toe. He doesn't want to be on the cone, but, you know, like one yard off this cone. When he backs in, he wants to stay to the left cone, to the left line. If he's close to the left, he's safe on the right. And also, if there's another tractor on the right, he's not going to hit it. In the back, he wants to get his bumper in between the striped cone and the, and the green cones in the back. He can get out and look. We can let him get out and look, even though in Maryland we don't have alley docking on our test. But once he gets in, he can get out, walk back there and see, make sure his bumper is not on the on the green cones, but in between the green and the striped cones. Okay, let's go and see if he can do it. Let's go. He's gonna get in the truck and let's see how patient he is. He hasn't done it that much, but uh, we did one uh, on a Saturday, the day's Sunday. Did a pretty good job yesterday. 
He has all of his classmates looking at him. So we'll see what happens, see what he does. He's fairly 90 degrees. He's 90 degrees to the dock. He's 90 degrees. His reference point is the striped cone. Way back there is the striped cone. That's his reference point. He's gonna get the tractor started. He's gonna do a small angle. He's gonna bring the trailer is set up. It's gonna be a small setup. He's gonna turn the wheel to the right. He's gonna back up so he can clearly look at his this big mirror and see that about the full landing way. Has it right. Back up. Get this. That's the setup. That is mirror. That is mirror. You can see that landing way. That's pretty good. Now he's going to get that wheel straight. And from here on out, all he's doing is determining, is he early or is he late? So let's see what happens. He's going to back up. He's going to have to make a decision. He can back up half the length of the vehicle, stop, and make a decision what he has to do next. A tractor trailer driver, he just went right in there because he can visualize the angle and the turn. He's making some adjustments with the wheel. Looking at the window and he's visualized. He wants to be one yard off that striped cone and close to it. He's looking at that trailer, it's coming in just nice. Very soon he's gonna have to do a follow-up. Right now he's still coming in good. Don't forget your follow-up. There he is. As long as that trailer, he wants that trailer one yard off that striped cone. He'll make small adjustments if needed. Come in here nicely. He's gonna have to hurry up and follow up, otherwise he'll be jackknife. He's following up. He's gonna have to hold that left. Coming in okay, he's coming in here nice. It's going to be one yard off, and then he'll give it to right to bring it in the box. Come on in. Looking great. Looking great. Really good. Come on. We're coming. Now he's going to get his wheel straight. Get those wheels straight. As you get to that cone on that line, you get that wheel to the right to bring it in the box. It's coming back. Keep it straight. Right now it has it bent a little bit, so that's not good. You need to give it a little bit of left. Get up to your cone. Get the wheel straight. Okay, come on, back it up. One turn to the right. Give it some right. Give it some right. Bring it in the box now. Bring it in. Bring it in the box. You want to try to keep it to the left. Come on. He's on an angle, he has a counter steer. Real quick, he needs to counter steer it. There he goes. I'm giving him a little bit of help here, but uh, we get the idea. You gotta know when to counter steer. Come on back. He's doing good. Now he's getting kind of rough, but he's a little bit off to the left, but he's still in good shape. He's kind of centered in the in the in the alley dock. He might give it a little bit of right to bring it over to the line. A little bit of right to bring it more closer to the left line. Then you follow back up. Doing a good job. Now I did give him a little bit of help here and there, but I would just want to get this video done fairly correctly. Okay, we got a big order for uh for the fish man. We kind of requested another video on alley docking, so I hope this one helps you out. If it does help you out, subscribe. In Maryland, we do not have the alley docking. We also do not have get out and look. But this time, 
He might do a get out and look, just to show the ones in the states that have get out and look. He's going to get out, he's going to walk back there, see how far he needs to back up to get his back bumper in between the green cone and the stripe cone back there. He's going to come back out there and check. May walk it off and figure out how much he has. All righty. Come back in. This driver's gonna soon is gonna be a real good driver. If he wants you to get a local job, he doesn't have to go on the road. He knows how to handle a truck. Even though I gave him a couple of turns or helped him out a little bit, he really does know what he's doing. He knows how to. He's the boss of the trailer. The trailer's not his boss, he's the boss. If that trailer goes off to the right or the left, it's because you put it off to the right or left. I need you always to be in charge of that trailer. You be that boss. Very good job. Thank you so much. And I hope this video helps all of the students out there. Please subscribe to the channel and keep on watching.